All right, so let's learn how to solve homogeneous first order differential equations. So here is a differential equation. It is first order and it is homogeneous. Now, of course, there is a way to tell if it's an equation is homogeneous or not. So you'll have to do that research on your own. But I'm claiming this is homogeneous. So we're going to go ahead and use the method to solve it. So, so the idea with this method is to introduce another variable which is v. So we're going to let v be equal to y over x. Now we want to turn our differential equations into that new variable, but first we need to divide every single term by x so that way it looks like y over x and that will be substituted using v. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the right hand side. I'm going to divide by x. So we have y over x minus 4x over x all over x over x minus y over x. And on the left hand side, we still have dy dx. So now, now you can simplify. And then these terms are going to be replaced with v because we're calling v as y over x. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have y over x, that's going to be v minus, well, 4x over x, that's just 4 over, and then x over x, that's just 1. And then y over x, again, that's going to be v. All right, now where would dy dx? We need to replace that. So we come back to our substitution and try to find dy dx. So let's go ahead and solve for y. So we have y is equal to v times x. Now using product rule, we're going to differentiate respect to x. So we have dy dx is equal to derivative of v respect to x, that's just dv dx times x, plus now we keep v and differentiate x respect to x, well that will just be one. So that's what we're gonna replace for dy dx. So we have dy dx is replacing with x dv dx plus v. So now the entire equation is now translated into v and dx. So now we can go ahead and start separating the variables and see if we can use another method with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some clearing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract v from both sides. So I have x dv dx is equal to v minus four over one minus v minus v. Well, here you wanna recall some of the algebraic technique. How do we combine two fractions? We need to have common denominators. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of that here. So multiply this one with the denominator of the previous fraction. So that'll be one minus v over one minus v because that's quantity one. And this will give us v minus four minus, so minus v times one, that will just be v, and then minus v times minus v, that's plus v squared, all over one minus v. So now they have same denominators. And on the left-hand side, we still have x dv dx. So let's go ahead and simplify a little bit more. So we can see the v's will cancel out. So we're left with x dv dx is equal to v squared minus four over one minus v. And now this equation is separable. So that means we can use the method of separation of variables to find the solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So hopefully you remember how to use the separation of variables method. So I'm gonna separate the v's with dv's and x with dx. So it's gonna look something like this. We have one minus v over v squared minus four dv is equal to one over x dx. So that's the separation of variables step. Now here comes the integrating part. Now we can go ahead and integrate both sides with the respected variables. On the left side, we're doing it respect to v. On the right side, we're gonna do respect to x. So now the right hand side, it's, it should be straightforward. It's ln of absolute value of x. But we're up the left hand side. We might have to do a little bit more work. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some calculus technique. So let's separate the fraction on the left hand side. 
So we have the integral of 1 minus 1 over v squared minus 4 dv plus, or we could put minus, but um, minus the integral of v over v squared minus 4 dv is equal to the integral of 1 over x dx. Okay, so now let's, let's continue integrating the left-hand side. Okay, so from here, well, the first integral, we will have to do it by partial fractions. The second integral, we can do it by a simple u substitution. And the last one on the right-hand side, we can do it by just by ln of 1 over x. Okay, so let's focus on the first integral. We're going to be using the partial fraction decomposition. So I'm going to rewrite 1 over 1 over v plus 2 and v minus 2 is equal to um, a over v plus 2 plus b over v minus 2. So hopefully you remember that. So all of these are going to be the work for the first integral. So then we can solve for these unknown constants, a's and b's. So of course this is the integral. And then we're going to fill everything in. So we have a times v minus 2 plus b times v plus 2 is equal to 1. And then I can solve for these unknown constant by just simply picking values for v. So if I let v equals to 2, we have, um, so the a will cancel out because v minus 2 is 0. So we'll have b will be 4 times equals to 1, which will give us b is equal to 1 fourth. And I can simply pick v is equal to negative 2. That will give us a value. So a will be times negative 4 is equal to 1. So which means a is the constant 1 fourth negative. All right, so that will help us to integrate this piece. So we have the integral a is negative 1 fourth over v plus 2. And then plus b is 1 fourth over v minus 2 dv. So this would be uh, ln again. So that's negative 1 fourth ln of v plus 2. And this is plus 1 fourth ln of v minus 2. So that's the integration for the first integral. Okay, so that's a lot of work, yes. <laughs> Let's continue with the second one. Well, the second one isn't so difficult. That's just uh, u substitution. So this one, we're going to do u sub. So you'll have the integral of v over v squared minus 4 dv, and that will just be 1 half ln of um, v squared minus 4. So that will be that piece. And on the right hand side, let's write that out too. We're going to get, if I integrate this, that will just be simply ln of absolute value x. And let's put all of these pieces together with plus c. So we have our solution. The general solution is the green piece uh, negative one fourth ln of v plus two plus one fourth ln of v minus two, and then the blue piece that's one half ln of we don't need absolute value for this one because it's v square minus four is equal to ln of x plus c. So that's the final solution, but we need to plug in what v was. v was y over x. So by substituting that in, we have our final result, 1 fourth ln of y over x plus 2 plus 1 fourth ln of y over x minus 2 plus 1 half ln of y over x a square minus 4 is equal to ln of x plus c. Of course, you can simplify all of these because you can use laws of logarithms. But for um, 
uh, time limit, I am going to stop it right here and call it a day. So that'll be it for this one. But of course, keep going, uh, simplify using laws of logarithm. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. That's it for this video.